what for? You pressed it. Yes, we are live, I think. I think. So what's your name? Where do you come from? My name is Fiona Parsnips and I come from um, outer space. Outer space. That's why I'd like to go out for a little holiday in outer space. Right, I'm trying to find just the broadcast. The sound. Here we go. Let's see. La, 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 la. Just talk about yes. yourself. Sing along. Testing. Sing along. There we go. Yes, we have we have audio. We do. Marvellous. Off you go then. Can't check audio until we've actually gone live. So there's that few moments where we sound like complete numpties, and that's basically because we are complete numpties. <laughs> Apart from Nick. Apart from Nick, who keeps the keeps the show going. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, welcome to our Friday morning live. A little taste of shop life, which is always challenging. But actually, it's been a better week this week. Sounds like we've got the time lag there, Ginge, have we or not? Yeah, just tell me. Yeah. There is always time lag. Apparently there's always time lag. So, um, uh, yes, anyway, we're much more upbeat uh, today. Nick has threatened me and said that if I'm not upbeat, he's just going to leave. So I couldn't possibly cope with that. So um, I'm, I'm uh, again, going for it. And um, I've got some housekeeping notes. I thought we may as well get those out of the way. Then I'm going to do a little demo and um, announce a little promo. Funnily enough, you know, last week we said that if anybody came in and correctly identified the stripes on our stripey sideboard, we would enter them into a draw and we would announce the winner today. Well, guess how many people came in? None, not one, not one. And I think they were all challenged by the fact that they had dark wax on it. It might make it hard to identify them. But I did say anybody coming in could use our colour charts and they could use the spoons and they could work it out and they would get a free tin of paint. The winner would get a free tin of paint. So just in case you're all being apathetic and shy, we're going to extend it until this Friday. And so if you want to come in, identify the colours in the right order and um, get yourself a free tin of paint. If you're the lucky winner out of the prize draw, then uh, that would be good. And it'd be nice to see you. Um, 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 what was I going to say about that? Good Friday. We are going to be open on Good Friday and we will be open on the Saturday as usual. So our Good Friday hours and Saturday will be 10 until 5. We will be closed on Easter Sunday and we will be closed on Easter Monday. That's because Nick and I are going off and doing a big shop, stock shop on Monday. But we will be then open to our normal hours. So we will only then be closed on a Wednesday and a Sunday. So that's going to be a bit of a culture shock for me. I really, really, really have enjoyed my winter hours, having time to do painting at home and to um, just catch up with myself and go to my yoga class and do some French. And it has been really, really good for me. But I am aware that... Um, I need to be here. I'm hoping the weather will get better, the sun will come out, the tourists will come back. And I need to be here. And Actually, to be honest, I need to be in the shop to catch up with all the things that go on in shop life. Uh, pricing and sourcing and uploading and moving things around and just generally moving the rock up the hill. So in a way, it will be a bit of a relief to get back and get into a normal routine again. So um, Friday the 5th of April, we won't be doing um, a live next Friday because it's Good Friday and my darling sister will be taking the time off. So the following Friday, which is Friday the 5th of April, we will recommence and do our next live. And we will have a guest speaker, which I think will be quite interesting to say the least. So um, if you could join us then on the 5th of April for our normal live and see our guest speaker, that would be great. So um, you're going to have to get up now, Ginge. Gonna turn this round. Oh, I thought that I would share that I have been at home painting this week and I've been using the um, French Chic Original Artisan range. And we always tend to concentrate on the Lazy range, which has got the wax already in it, and the Alfresco, because both of those ranges are self priming, self leveling, and self finishing. And so people tend to prefer them and I just go along with it. But it occurred to me the other day when I was painting at home, how wonderful 
the original paint range is. It's the real proper chalky one. It's not self-leveling, so it will show blemishes and it will show um, brush marks, etc. So um, if you're somebody who's wanting to build layers of paint or perhaps wanting to do more like a French chippy look, then I would always recommend the original range, the artisan range. Um, so I thought we'd just open a tin today because I get such joy from opening a new tin of paint. And that's why the title is Lifting the Lid. Yay, yes. So let's just get this lid off and show you this gorgeous colour. This is called Mother Duck. Oh my goodness, I do love a new tin of paint. I really do. Let's give it a stir. It's lovely and thick, really creamy and gorgeous. And this is that beautiful sort of mother duck blue, which I think is a, a winner always. Um, so I'll just give it a bit of a stir. And I haven't got a brush there, so I tell you what, we'll break open a brand new French Heat brush. There are definitely perks to being a French Heat stockist, because you can just go and take something off the stand. And there's nothing quite like a new tin of paint and a new brush. And these brushes, I don't know if you can see there, but they're domed so that you can easily get into corners and into intricate work, which is jolly handy because the piece of wood I'm going to paint is particularly gnarly. In fact, I've got to be a bit careful because it's got nails and things sticking out of it still. A bit of a sharp one there, so we're going to have to be a bit careful. So, um, I've no Simon idea. Simon Meadows is saying only Fifi can make watching paint dry fashion fascinating. <laughs> Good well, morning. I don't know about that, Simes, but we'll do our damnedest. Come and see us, Simon. Yes, come on down, Simes. We need to see you. So, this piece of wood, it's obviously off an old sideboard somewhere. It's got the acanthus leaves on it. And it's a beautiful piece of wood in any case. Uh, I've no idea what the finish has been on here. I wouldn't be at all surprised to find that we have some um, dark stains coming through. And if they do, I just work with them. You can apply tough coat or finishing coat to seal it first if you want to but I never do because I just think if there's any sort of staining that comes through then I'll just work with it why not so let's put some paint on and see how well it covers and um, oh, look, you can you can see straight away although I would always use two coats because that's just the type of girl I am I think that this paint particularly the original range is so gorgeously thick and beautiful to use and once I've painted this with two coats I will give it a very very light sand which will reveal the edges. How many years have you been doing this now? Oh my god more than I care to remember. I must have been painting furniture for about 16 years I think and I still learn every time I do it. There's always something new to do. Um, but this is going to look really fab and I thought that this sort of bar going through here I might well end up painting with some gold because Mother Duck does look particularly good with gold. So I will show you some different golds that we could use if we decide to do that, which I think we will. And this is just going to be a nice little bit of objet d'art that we can stick up on a wall somewhere just as something interesting to look at. So that's to give you an idea of A, the colour, and B, how well it covers. Now you've got choices then if you're going to use gold. And I thought I'd just show you these. These are the ready mixed gold um, creams almost. You can put them on with a brush. Um, this one I think is my favourite. This is called Golden Oldie, which is this colour here. And this colour, I don't know how well this shows Ginge on the cameras, but that sort of very pale gold against the pale blue, the mother duck, is just so pretty. So that's one option that you could use. You could even dip your finger into that and you can rub it on with your finger and that will look really nice. And then the other option is mixing together the gorgeous gold. Um, I've actually mixed a tiny little bit of silver in with mine as well, in with some um, browning wax, which makes a sort of a gilding paste. And I can show you what that's like on my hand. It's a really lovely, lovely colour. And you mix it and you can keep it in a Tupperware container. It'll keep forever. I'll just put a little bit on here so that you can see if you're just wanting to do a little bit of highlighting. Um, and then I can just paint over that when we get to it. But it's just a nice way 
of adding a little bit of highlighted detail. So of course when that's dry, if I did the same thing over that, it would just give it some extra, extra depth. Um, and that will keep in the pot for absolutely ages, and I use this on just about everything, I just love that. The gold on its own is quite, quite bright, and so I do tone mine down with a little bit of the sexy silver powders as well. So that's, that's that. Um, in terms of colour ranges, we've got the spoons in here with the different colours on. Um, some really pretty colours. There's one here that's called Panther. Um, it's a sort of a charcoal grey, and in fact, Ginger, if you can pan up to that uh, piece of moulding on the top there, I painted that using Panther from the original range, and then I've used white wax over the top of it and wiped it back to give it a slightly sort of chalky, ethereal look to it. So normally these paints are £20.95 for a 750ml tin. They're a pound cheaper than the others. Um, but we're going to do a promotion until Good Friday, and I'm going to take two pounds off every tin, which will mean that they'll be eighteen ninety five. Are they self finishing, or do you have to buy a finish? These are not self finishing. Good point, Mrs. Well made. So when you've painted your piece of furniture with the original range, you do need to seal it, and you can either use the clear wax, which looks absolutely beautiful. It doesn't really change the appearance too much, but it seals it, or you can use the tough coat, which is a flat matte finish, or the one with a slight sheen to it, which is the finishing coat, both of which will completely seal it and make it very hard wearing. So those are obviously an extra cost, which I think is why some people tend to go more for the lazy range or for the al fresco. But don't miss out on the beautiful, beautiful chalky quality of the original range. I really want to revive it. You don't want to lose it. It is the perfect, perfect paint for making something look a little bit more shabby, a little bit more cheap, and to do lots of different finishes with it. And just so that you can see this chair that I did, oh, how long ago did I do this chair? Probably over five years ago, I did a chair half in half so that I could take it to WI meetings to show people how you can transform the most boring, 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 boring brown dining room chair with brown velour. And I've painted it using the same colour, Mother Duck. And this is so super smooth here, and I've put clear wax over the top of this. And then I've painted the seat as well, and I've used some of the gold powders to do part of a stencil on the fabric and half a little crown on the top here. And although this is velour and the, the, it looks almost like sort of cracked uh, leather, this doesn't flake and come off on your trousers or anything like that. Um, and it's just a really nice way of upgrading a very boring chair. So that's the promo for today. Um, we've done the housekeeping, we've done the promo. We could have a quick look round. There's not an awful lot to show you that's new in today. We did identify a couple of things, but I can't remember what they were. I don't think you'd seen this last week. This is an end of bed footstool. It's a second-hand one, but it's absolutely immaculate. It looks like it's just come out of the box. It's perfect. And that's on for 120. And we've got this pair of rather stylized, quite like these chic sort of hands. It's just an ornament. They're joined together. Um, and that's on for 21.95. They've been previously painted. You could use it to put rings on or perhaps some jewellery or bracelets over the thumb or something. But I just think they look nice just as a piece of art, really. Um, and also we've got this beautiful picture, which is, it, it, it is an original, but this one is not done by the original artist who is Spanish. But this was done and sold um, via a, a very, very nice gallery in Bradford-on-Avon. And she's so beautiful and the colours are so lovely and the frame itself is beautiful. And that's on for 224.95. I mean, the frame alone would probably cost you upwards of £75 because it's so nicely done. So, um, we'll just go and have a, a little walk around. I, I got bored on Saturday, it was very quiet on Saturday. I nearly lost the will to live, it was so quiet. Um, I think the rugby was on and there was probably an R in the month and maybe it was raining, who knows, probably. So I painted these candlesticks which were dark mahogany brown and I've repainted them using the alfresco matcha and put the pink candles in. I just think they look a lot prettier. Um, we had uh, 
put this onto our Instagram page and our Facebook page yesterday, and I'm delighted to say it sold about 10 minutes later. So that will be wending its way off to its new home, which I believe is over in Wales, very shortly. There's another arch mirror there, Ginge, um, just there, which is very old, very sort of vintage. Um, and how much is that one on for? I can't see the Thirty-nine ninety-five. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a nice foxed plate. And for those of you that don't know what foxed plate is, it's the mirror plate, which has sort of got, um, almost, almost looks like it's been corroded. It's sort of it's like it's stained and aged, and actually that is very, very desired. Um, I still haven't put this onto the system. That's on my do list for today, Nick, to put this shelf that um, um, Sophie, our work experience girl, painted. That needs to go on. I was very happy to see that I normally kill plants, but I've been feeding this one, and we've got some lovely new shoots coming through on it. And then I discovered, Japonica. Look at that. it's not a Japonica, this one, I, I have written the name somewhere, but probably not on here, no, I haven't put the top name on there, but it's on our Instagram, but there's a horse chestnut that seeded itself, look at that, coming through, what a pretty shaped leaf, wow. that will grow conkers, won't it, mm. if we leave it long enough, so um, there's nothing much new there, nothing much new here, uh, quite a few things have gone out, that's why this table's looking quite empty. Um, we'll go and have a quick, quick, quick look outside because I've had some really nice galvanised troughs that have just come in. We have got a huge chimney in the back of my van. Really, really nice one. Very heavy. It's got ivy and stuff um, sculpted into it. Not real ivy, but sculpted into ivy. Um, and we'll try and get that one onto the system today. I couldn't bring it in on my own. It's too heavy. So... Have a quick look at these galvanised troughs as she rushes away. So I can have a quick slurp of coffee. That's so pretty, isn't it? I love that already. That's going to be nice. I'll finish that today. So, um, here are the troughs. Nice sizes, actually. So we've actually yes, got three. Fiona Alpuse says good morning. Morning, good morning Fee. Alpuse. How are you doing, darling? Looking forward to seeing you on Monday week. Yeah, Monday week. So three different size troughs. They just happen to all fit inside each other rather nicely. Um, but those are fresh on, and they're on our Instagram page and on our Facebook page. Um, and I think that that's the only new garden stock in that I've had this week. This plant, I can't decide. I can't decide if it's... It's regrowing. It is regrowing. Do you think so? I can't tell, but I think it's because recovering I see it every day. From when, when it was going... Um, when it was dying. Yeah. I've been feeding it, and I've been giving it lots of love every day, yeah. and stroking it, and that hasn't put it off. It's still trying. So I think we might be in luck with that one, and we might just manage to get it to regroup. This one as well, look at all the new leaves on this. It's surprising what a little bit of plant food can do, and a bit of tender, loving care. And lots of new shoots coming out on that one. So that's really encouraging. And our herbs are growing like mad. Crazy they are. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, good, it? And um, with the plants, um, let's just have a look at this. Yeah, with the plants in it, the whole kit, including the pots and the stand, is $89.95. Or you can have it without plants. And then you get the nine pots and the stand, and that's $69.95. But actually, it's quite nice to have that already planted up and have it by your back door so that when they get really bushy, once we get some spring, then um, you'll be able to start using them in your cooking. So that's pretty much it then, everybody. Um, we've had some more huge donations of um, out-of-date drugs and first aid kits, etc., especially from my lovely Tony, female Tony. Thank, Thank you, you so for that. much for the donations for Ukraine. They still desperately need them so yes. we've got a big a big pile that's ready to go and uh, you can drop them off here or get in touch and we can collect yes absolutely and we have got some new stock coming in today which you've got to go and pick up haven't you nick one of them is a particularly large floor standing mirror really nice so anybody who's wanting one of those keep an eye out on our page and um we will not be here next week that's right isn't it for our live it's the week after, because it's Good okay. Friday next week, isn't it? Yeah. I do all these housekeeping notes, and then can I remember them 10 minutes later? No. 
So have a happy Easter, everybody. Oh, yes, one last thing. Well spotted, Nick. I've got a load of magazines here. They're all really quite recent. They're all really lovely. They're all to do with interiors and interior design, etc. Um, I'm overflowing with them. So I thought I'd bring them in. And if anybody wants to come in and grab them, it's a pound each and the money goes straight into the collection that we do for the Ukraine. So um, come and get yourself some really nice magazines. You can sit and read them over Easter and get lots of inspiration. And that is it. Okay. So he's ready for his TR18 now, aren't you, my little boy? You've been a good treat? boy today, haven't you? You've been a very good boy. I think he's, he's got the drill now, hasn't he? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks right. for watching. Lots of love, everybody. Bye, Take everybody. care. Bye for now. Bye.